When Dennis wants to tell me something, I know it's not something that I want to hear. <laughs> so Dennis says, I need a vacation. Phil, you let this dude go to vacation, we're not going to see him. You let him go to Vegas, we definitely not going to see him. I know I watched the last dance part three and four, and man, got to be more careful. Oh that, man, I'm on that tonight. That damn Dennis Rodman, Lord have mercy. That's that, my man. I love me some D Rod. Dennis, man. man. So, uh, without spoiling it for Larry, I watched um, the last dance parts three and parts four. Parts three is on the role that Dennis Rodman played in helping win championships from Dennis Rodman leaving the bad boy Pistons, trying to beat up Scottie Pippen, intimidate Scottie Pippen, belittle Scottie Pippen, to the Detroit Pistons getting broke up because they got their asses beat up and they got disbanded by the Bulls. They left the court, did not want to shake hands. Yes, T-Streams, I know these are your Don't guys. Don't be so hard on us, man. Look, look man, look. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan to this day still hates Isaiah Thomas because y'all left off the court and didn't shake the bull's hand when they whipped that ass. But I will defend Isaiah in this way. Larry Bird and that crew, Robert Parrish and the crew done the same thing to Zeke. Ain't nobody had nothing to say. Ain't nobody had nothing to say. But now that it was a problem for Michael Jordan, who was the face of the league, everybody want to say you're disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. But long story short, Dennis Rodman left Detroit, went to San Antonio for a little while, was wigging out. Y'all know Dennis Rodman is four cookies short of a full picnic. They invite him to come to the Bulls. He gets to the Bulls. And when he gets to the Bulls, he's doing his job. But then he started wigging out. My man said he needed a vacation in the middle of the season. What coach gives any player a vacation in the middle of the season? It got I so bad. that super zen, like 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 Phil. Look, Phil was super zen. He was like, "I'm gonna keep my players giving. I'm gonna give them exactly what they need to do the job man, they need to do." Phil Jackson called Michael Jordan. He was like, "Hey, Mike, <laughs> this dude said he need a damn vacation in the middle." <laughs> and Michael Jordan said, "Phil, if you let him go, he ain't coming back." <laughs> and anyway, Ooh. he left. He came back, but Michael Jordan had to go find him. And mm. when Michael Jordan went to look for him in the suite downtown Chicago, guess who answered the door? Carmen Electra. Yeah. And so, Larry, <laughs> I'll leave it there on that one. And part four was all about Phil Jackson's rise to power as the coach, snaking Doug Collins, making friends with the GM, instituting a triangle, forcing Michael Jordan to share the basketball, even though he really didn't, and leading this team to a championship using the triangle. They beat up on uh, Magic Johnson's Lakers. I enjoyed part three. I enjoyed part four. If you haven't seen it, people, that's my pick of the weekend, my pick for the week. Go watch The Last Dance, three and four. It'll do you right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I was told, I was told back in the day that one of the reasons why Jordan, because they said Jordan used to run that team, and they said that one of the reasons why he let Dennis Robin do the crazy things he did was because Dennis Robin was the only one that had a work ethic that was equal to or even surpassed Michael Jordan. They said that dude was mm -hmm. a workout fiend. And Michael and Jordan, Michael Jordan highlights that in the series. Like Dennis Rodman, he only had one speed, and that was 100 miles an hour at anything he did. Right. So, I mean, I mean, it, Carmen Electra will tell you anything he did. It was a hundred miles an hour. He also dated Madonna too, which I didn't know. I remember that. Yeah. They said they said that that 
that Rodman, I don't know about in this documentary, but back in the day when I was when I was a sports photographer, they they said that uh, you know, because I I I he came to the Lakers right after I stopped shooting the Lakers, but they said that he would go play his minutes and then at halftime when everybody was in the locker room doing their thing, he would hop on the exercise bike in the locker room and ride. And then after the games, he would go back in there and he would ride for like another hour after the game. They were like, this dude's cardio was insane. Hey man, <laughs> hey man, uh, what 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 my man say? Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> 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 and when you take some of that, it speeds up everything. You you're going to be going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, and I don't so, think they were. I don't think they were testing for cocaine back then. They ain't testing now. <laughs>